I always catch Candace in the morning watching my vlogs. What are you watching, honey? Nothing. Hmm. I just like to see myself. Life, life is so much better when you have someone to share it with. When you have family to share it with, it's great. When you have friends to share it with, it's amazing. And if you're really, really lucky, if you meet a stranger in your lifetime and decide that you wanna share your life with that stranger, that's amazing. That is, the, that is one of the greatest parts of life. A shared life is a great life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Francine. I'll see you later. Just check this out real quick. Look at that closet. It's almost organized in there. I just say that because you'll notice I'm wearing different clothes today than I have been for the last month. It's because I found them in my closet when Candace cleaned it. The reason why we come here for all of our breakfast meals is it's like the best breakfast place downtown. All their eggs were organic and delicious, and their fruit's amazing, and they have this cow out front. I had the eggs this morning. Usually I get fruit. I had the eggs this morning. <laughs> they were delicious. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, yesterday's vlog, I was talking about true originals. I have a very... I have one of my favorite filmmakers, one of the greatest filmmakers in my office right now, Mr. Joshua Safdie. Josh and I have made a couple movies together, including, including this movie. Daddy Long Legs, which premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. And then went to Sundance, which did went, all the stuff that everybody wants to hear. Did the Sundance Film Festival. We won, we won this, we won this award for a movie, for the same movie, Daddy Long Legs. Anyways, all of this success was under this guy's and brilliance brother. and his brother's brilliance. And Josh is here today showing me the trailer for his new film, which just give me like five accolades from this movie. It showed at uh, Venice Film Festival, Toronto Film Festival, won the Tokyo Grand Prize, and uh, Weinstein Company Radius is releasing it. So anyways, Josh is kind of a big deal. And we're watching his new trailer here, which like, and this is a watermark because no one's allowed to see it yet, but we're watching it. Click play. I'm so sorry that things had to come to this. I saw the movie at the New York Film Festival, right? Yeah. At the New York Film Festival. It's amazing. Anyways, I'll put a link to the trailer below. If I don't, I'm sorry. It's because Josh wouldn't let me. You're awesome. I'm very happy to announce that today is the day that I make a vlog all about Candace. Here's a story about Candace, one that I've never told. Candace was a waitress when she moved to New York City. She was a bartender, she was a waitress. And she had this dream of starting a jewelry company. So her and her girlfriend started this company and they ran it out of her apartment, like literally off the kitchen table. And it grew and it grew and it grew. And then her and her partner sort of went separate ways. They had a falling out. Candace didn't know what to do. She wanted to shut down the company. And this is right when her and I were getting serious. And I remember thinking to myself, I could never be with a quitter. I could never be with somebody who just gives up when the going gets tough, because that's what she wanted to do after her and her partner split up. But she didn't. She stuck with it. She made the company more successful than it ever was with her partner. And like, when that happened, when she did that, that's when I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this girl. That was when I bought the ring. That was when I proposed to her, is because I knew she wasn't a quitter. She was a fighter. She was an ambitious, creative, smart fighter. And that's who Candace is. She's also cute and shy and gets nervous about being on these vlogs.
riding my bike up to Candace's office now. She's like 10 blocks away from my office. Her elevator's locked, so I gotta take the stairs. It's so fancy here. No! <laughs> Wait, I thought you said today was Candace vlog day. Yeah, but I didn't know you were gonna show up. I made promises to the event. viewers. This is Candace's super fancy showroom, and this is all press for her company. Like, look, that's all her jewelry from a magazine, and that's like some really pretty famous person with her jewelry on, and more pretty stuff, and this is like that pretty famous person, and this famous person, and that famous stuff. <laughs> Why don't you like to be on camera? Because I feel silly. Why do you feel silly? I don't know, some people just feel natural in front of it and I don't. I'm like gonna have a panic attack right now. <clears throat> Why don't we crowdsource questions? Okay. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. If Frankie was a boy, what would her name be? Frankie. That's a good answer. Do you think she looks like Pam from The Office or is it just me? She kind of does look like Pam from The Office. Oh, no. She's that pretty. Was a nerd. Um, how do you design such awesome jewelry? I'd like to know the answer to that. Um, just do it. Have an idea and do it. I like that. What about Casey's work do you find most interesting? Your inhibition. My inhibition. What does that mean? It means um, you do whatever you think is right instead of what other people think is right. Oh, thank you. Don't look normal. Relax. Okay. Luke wants to know, what pisses you off most about having Casey as a spouse? The battery's gonna die before she finishes mm -hmm. this. Go. Um, that's hard because it's also the thing that I admire the most about you. What's that? How hard you work. Okay, thank you. That's nice. Ooh, I like this question. Do you get jealous of all the female admirers Casey has? No. Really? We don't have much jealousy in our relationship. Who are you most proud to have worn your jewelry? Giselle? Giselle, that was a good one. Carly Kloss. Carly Kloss? She's the most recent good one. How did you meet Carly Kloss? Random. <laughs> How do you tolerate Casey's vlog so I can get my wife to tolerate mine? Always support your man. Okay, I'm answering this question. Which one of your, which one of Casey's tattoos is your favorite? On our second date, on our second date, Candace and I thought it'd be a really good idea to tattoo each other's names on our like foot. Mm -hmm. It was her idea. She paid for it. Okay, then we broke up and she got hers covered up and I didn't. That's Candace's. Is that your favorite tattoo that I have? You have to say yes. Yes. Um, why don't you like being Casey's vlogs? I don't like being judged in any way. I think that's fair. Did you see my vlog about being judged? Yes. And then some bitch said something about me. <laughs> um, what's your ideal place to travel with me? Amsterdam and Cape Town. Amsterdam's where I proposed to her. Cape Town's where we got married. Uh, are you going to start your own rival YouTube channel? <laughs> no. <laughs> Casey, did Candace give you advice about the vlog or the new company? Yes. I don't think I could do it without her support. Oh. What is married life with Casey like? Nonstop. <laughs> what does that mean? Chaos. That's my new word for you. Why? Just nonstop chaos. Gretchen wants to know, have you ever doubted Casey? Not once 
since the minute I met you. That's so nice. All right, that's it. End of the Q&A. Stop, oh, I have to say it here. Stop sending questions. Thanks for being in the vlog. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Sorry I'm so boring. You're not boring. Catch me after a shot of tequila. She does like tequila.